Tip number three, it's all about resilience. So when you work in business, Bad things happen, and I've seen some pretty crazy stuff happen over my career. In my last role at the company I worked at, I saw cyber attacks happen, I saw our revenue plummet and the share price fall, I saw the CEO get kicked out, the business that I worked for got sued by a regulation commission here in Australia. It was crazy. And it doesn't matter what business you work in, it's always gonna be challenging periods, there's always gonna be setbacks, there's always gonna be difficulties driven by internal issues, but also external issues in the economy and in the world around us, whether it's war, inflation, economic challenges, supply chain shortages, whatever it happens to be. But through all those tough times, resilience is an important skill to try and cultivate. And there's a few building blocks for me that make up what resilience actually means. The first one's all about keeping a calm head. So not overreacting when bad things happen. Bad things will happen, it's inevitable. But how you react to those situations is super important and it says a lot about you, but also it's really important to manage your own emotions because that can have a flow on effect to other people around you, which again speaks to that piece that we talked about earlier around leading. So keeping a calm head, not jumping to conclusions, not fear mongering, not complaining, not criticizing, not being negative. This is all part of being resilient and forming a really resilient attitude. Tip number two about resilience is all about the fact that when bad things happen, we need to face reality. We need to be honest. We need to be having tough conversations about what is happening around us and what we need to do about it. There's no point putting our head in the sand and pretending everything's gonna be okay, because in some cases they aren't but we need to face that. And the sooner that we can face reality and have tough conversations about what's happening around us, that'll build our resilience too. And again, make us more resilient when tougher situations arise in the future. Because if you're working in a very senior position, the buck stops with you. So when bad things happen, sometimes it can land on your shoulders, which is why it's so important to be resilient, keep a calm head and face the situation with grace and look to move forward and find opportunities to get your team or to get your business out of a tough situation. So tip number three was all about being resilient.